the channel points rewards are off. They're off now. Um, why does this keep popping up? Please turn off notifications. Thank you. Right. Yeah, the channel points rewards are off. We did them throughout the month of Spooktober, where you could spin wheels and make me eat horrible things, and uh, I'd wear costumes and stuff, but just because... I did all that for you guys, basically. Um, the costumes were just annoying to me after a point. <laughs> Apart from the sweets, it was it was mostly for you. But today is for me. I'm enjoying it. So <laughs> I've turned it all off. And uh, we're just going to play some games and have fun. Anyway. We're already here. We're already loaded. A man who never eats pork buns is never a whole man. And... And... I went into trigger fire and I reduced the volume of that goddamn redemption because every time it went off, it like blew my tits off. So go find pork bun. I don't know if they've got pork buns in Faith Two Fairy, but I'll do my best for you. Enjoy your metaphysical pork bun until then. Right. So this is coming soon. Coming soon. Exit and indie to begin. This is Faith Chapter Two by Airdorf, um, indie horror developer, very prominent on the horror scene. He does a lot of uh, work with other people as well as making his own games. Um, you can buy this off itch.io, which I did uh, for a small sum, and there's also a Faith Trilogy coming out when Chapter 3 is ready, so I'm probably going to pick that up as well. So, we've got new game. Continue, right, let's get into it. If you're not familiar with Faith, uh, you're in for a ride. But that's what it is. Get ready to hear that a lot. So I believe we play as John, the priest. Hello, friend. Hello, Maelstrom. Hello, also pastry. Baby Ludo. Got here just in time for faith. Yes, you did. So, yeah, we're going to be going up until your stream, Maelstrom, which is, um, seven ill bleed, I'm guessing. So, going to be a long one. <laughs> you know, I've just had an idea. I've just had an idea. I'm going to goof this for a minute, but, um, bear with me. It's going to be great. Promise. Uh, my audio might go weird for a sec. Um. I'm going to mute my mic just a sec while I do this. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Clifford. Computer. Right, um, so hopefully that was pretty cool. Um, how was that? <laughs> I just figured I had to set that up right now. 
Um, yeah, you need two thirty eighties to play this game. Uh, it does require uh, a terra terra flops, the petaflops, even exaflops of uh, graphics card power. Can you read that? <laughs> okay, hold on. Just for you guys, because you're longtime friends of the, because you're longtime friends of the channel, and and I'll do it as a gift, a special gift. Here you go. What strength! But don't forget, there are plenty of guys like you all over the world. What? Can I read this too? Rise from your grave. Perfect. Well, we, you know, we can actually test that. Hang on a minute. We will play the game soon, I promise. <laughs> Rise from your grave. Power. And then my favorite one is. Welcome to your <laughs> Okay, uh, I didn't leave the effect on, good. I wish I had a, a button that could toggle that, but it's a little bit more complicated. Anyway, we're here now. So yeah, already we're goofing. Um, it's gonna be one of those days. By the way, uh, Moonlight Sonata in reverse, this piece of music. This is our weapon, our crucifix. This this is basically the Exorcist, but as a wonderful 8-bit horror game. Sorry, 8-bit, it's like 4-bit horror game. One day. Okay, there's pictures. Two weeks. Ooh, you don't looking so good, buddy. Foragey tasty. Three months. Oh shit. This is the kid from the first one, right? This is what he became. That white creature we had to face. There are many alternate endings in the first game. We're gonna play this up until pretty much one on the dot ish, so we'll see how many of those we can do. Wow, that's pushing the limits of the limiter. What's your favorite thing about Halloween? Mine's carving up pumpkins and making pumpkin pie. Uh, pumpkin spice latte, <laughs> pretty much. And also like dumb spooky skeletons and, and like the stupid witches and ghosts and all that funny, funny goofy stuff. I'm gonna drop the volume ever so slightly on this because it's pushing the limiter. Where are you? Put slightly means like 50%. Yeah, we never really did pumpkins. We do it at work, but I've never really taken part in the thing, and obviously we're not there right now, so it's not as good. Trick-or-treating is just not safe in this country, so <laughs> we never really did that either. I think Michael might have escaped. Yeah. Yeah, I think Michael's escaped. Um. Well. Only one thing for it.
Eject. He took this three months picture with him. Yeah. Pumpkins for Halloween, Phoebe. What's this? <laughs> A two check engine light. Great. <laughs> Uh, okay. Do not be afraid. Did he say I have the body of a pig? Dios mio. That must have been an orderly. I think we're in a hospital. Or like a, a, a house. Hospital house. Ah, the woods. You remember the pig thing in the first game, right? So this game lets us explore quite a bit. We might find something in the woods, but we also may find death. Hey fam, welcome. This is familiar. I remember the deer in the first game. Yeah, that was a that was an ending. I keep this looping. Okay. Let's just go to what I assume will be the house. No, I'm just lost. Okay, the deer came from here. Oh. Uh, oh, yes, there's like certain points you can exercise as well. Forgot about that. Alright, here we go. Notice Aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Well, this is like uh, Sati Gnosians almost. This music, I really love the sound design. I, he, this is just incredible. Like the whole game. The first one was amazing, and I'm sure the second won't disappoint, and there's a third one on the way, and it's coming in a trilogy, which will probably have some extra stuff. I'm excited about it. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long-lost friend. For these short letters, I'm not going to turn the voice thing on, because it takes longer to do that than to read it. Disciple. Verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the self family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Harry. Thanks, Gary, that's real nice. <laughs> Silent Hill Radio VST. 
Oh, I thought it says sauce, but it says save. <laughs> Enter the sauce house. Alright, just saved my game, and there's people here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Smile key. He did seem happy. He's like, oh, it's gonna go do an exorcism. These doors are open now. I'm gonna use my cross on everything. This place is unholy. There are spirits and demons. And you know what we must do with demons. Banish demons and all evil spirits. That's correct. Okay, I'm being attacked. John, get the cross. We've got exorcisms to do. Magnus Exorcismus. Nomine Christi. <laughs> Nomine Christi Dios mio Santa Maria. I think it was a head and a spinal cord, yes. I wonder what would have happened if I'd been hit by it. We probably would have got mortised. We did it. Maybe that was one of the three spirits that was released from that house. That, well, that save point. Okay, here we go. Story time, everyone. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, Would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much. I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there. Only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Well. Uh, interesting. It's a bit like, um, I've been saying I've been watching X-Files recently, there was an episode about a satanic cult that I recently saw. With, uh, lots of shady basement goings on, and you know what? It was awesome. Yeah, I think it might be one of, one of the best ones to date for me. Because it was, like, so out there. There, there was this... With aliens, though. Well, I'm trying to remember, like, there was this one episode. Oh, the one before it was this really creepy one about this, like, death fetishist guy. Props to that actor, uh, whoever it was. I didn't look it up, but he was so creepy. Uh, and that was, like, a very realistic and very horrible story. And then immediately after it, it was, like, Satanists and, you know, the devil. And it was like, okay. <laughs> I see where we're going with this. But was it aliens? No, it wasn't aliens, spoiler alert. It was real Satanists. But not like the nice ones, you know, like the the, the ones that like summon snakes and... Okay, I'm trapped. Yeah, we got one of the spirits. Thought so. Interesting.
it is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Murray Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was training, a uh, training advisor for the United States Navy, and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1961, in Valentine. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Tellinghast Funeral Home. Telling, Tellinghast? Tillinghouse Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. The burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Uh, I remember that thing was getting shared around before the actual tenets of being a Satanist and so wholesome. Yeah, basically, the whole idea is. Um, as I understand it, is it's another totally valid religion, a lot like Christianity, but instead of all the doom and gloom, it's like, be free to imbibe in the things that you enjoy, but it's not about go and kill each other and hurt people, it's about accepting other people's views and all this stuff. It's, it's pretty fucking wholesome, the Church of Satanists. And they get a bad name because of the press, and, and like, you know, people that don't understand it. Conflation between terms. Do you mean like how people just associate Satan with the devil and bad things, and then the, like that's just what people imagine? Here we go. The fundamental tenets of sat Satanism. There are seven. One should strive to act with compassion and empathy towards all creatures in accordance with reason. Fair. The struggle for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit that should prevail over laws and institutions. Um, where did this blood come from? Uh, what that means is omerta. Oh, um, it, it's, it's saying stuff about how the law isn't necessarily just... Perhaps it's promoting vigilantism. I don't know. You can take of it what you will. I won't go into it. I'm just going to read these. One's body is inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. Rob. The freedoms of others should be respected, including the freedom to offend. To willfully and unjustly encroach upon the freedoms of another is to forgo one's own. Yeah, it's like, it's, I guess they're saying, um, you can, you know, you have your freedoms, but if you take away the freedoms of others, then you don't deserve them. Kind of shit. If they say in this, there's multiple things people might mean. It's true. What else they got? Uh, the least should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world. One should take care never to dis distort scientific facts to fit one's beliefs. Which is pretty much just um, about um, confirmation bias, right? People are fallible. If one makes a mistake, one should do one's best to rectify it and resolve any harm that might have been caused. Again, that's just an honor system thing. Every tenet is a guiding principle designed to inspire nobility in action and thought. The spirit of compassion, wisdom, and justice should always prevail over the written or spoken world. Now, you you could have said that to me and not told me it was the Church of Satanism. I would have told you it was fucking Sailor Moon. <laughs> okay. I feel like they're kind of on the right track. There's two main branches. Philosophical branch, which further branches into materialism and humanism. Ah, Siren knows, knows many things and can teach us. The other bigger branch is theistic Satanists, which is where it gets into belief and religion. So I guess the one who, the tenets we were just reading are the uh, philosophical branch, right? This, whatever this frog uh, corpse th fucking thing is, needs to get take off. He called me a violator. Yeah, he does a Medusa head pattern. I really like the boss in the first one, the the girl that you fight in the attic. And you have to like dodge all of her patterns and stuff. It's really cool. 
Yeah, yeah, if you want to know more about Satanism, look it up, I guess. But that was uh, a fun little read. Once in a name, huh? Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. It's a strong wind blowing out my window and it's uh, adding a lot of atmosphere to this. This is saying it was a wide open belief, uh, field of people doing whatever they've decided to adopt and elsewhere and I'll make up their own. Hmm. I want to say I may have recommended the first one to you. You did, and ended up playing it on the same day you played a game about being a crab with a knife. Actually, what was that game called? Because they've just released um, a newer one, like an update to it, or, or it's like fully released on Steam now. Ah, fuck. Fight Crab. That was it. Thanks, Fem. Fight Crab. Yeah, it's uh, it's out. I want to play it again. Um, before we played as like the barnacles and they were all fucked up. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> you have it on Steam, but haven't played it yet. Nice. It wasn't Fight Crab, no, but I think it was the same developers, right? Because they made like four different aquatic combat games. You were a crab walking around and then attacking people. Oh, that one! Okay. That was, um... Hey, Superman. That was... Yeah, I don't remember what that was called. I know that was something that I got on itch.io. You had to, like, get into the kitchen and get the oven or something. Blow out their house. Yes, time to get the collection. Uh, but I don't know if the Faith collection's out yet. Knife to meet you. That was it. Fuck's sake. I wonder if I can get through here yet. Two years ago, you think? It might have been. Time moves in a weird way, and I don't really... I don't really know how long I've been streaming. No, I, I, didn't I play Faith last year? What did I play last year? No, I was going to play Faith 2 last year, and I never got around to it, so you're right, it was two years ago. My goodness. Alright, we ain't getting through there anytime soon, not without directions. Right. Up. Left. Up. Up. I'm gonna try something, chat. I'm gonna big bus go. Um, Watch Dogs came out. I downloaded it. I still haven't played it yet. I saw some pictures of the buildings. Apparently they look ridiculously... Good. Not gonna lie, that made me jump. Wait, I missed... Oh, fuck, I missed the page. There was a page here and I missed it and it's gone now. I'm gonna try going the path again.
I think it might be gone forever. If I remember, I might go back and um, find it later, but yeah, that's unfortunate. I wanted to read that. The statue changed. It was definitely less horrific than that before. My reflection, it's still in the mirror. And there are eyes on the wall. It seems there's another demon still there. The reflection had a key, didn't it? Ow. Oh. You're bleeding everywhere, John. Look, I drew a dick with the blood. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm, I'm a child. That's not how you use key. That's how you unlock the secrets of the mind. Unlock um, sight beyond sight. Oh, this one's super cool. This is like a lot more um, cryptic than the first game, I think. Treebeard! Fuck that. I guess we're gonna go follow Treebeard. Oh, shit, it could be any one of these trees. The power of crisps compels you. Jeb Jebby Crimus. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Okay, wait a minute. That was purple. Was that the girl? Is this the house? It's like a chapel more than a house. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. I gotta go on a journey. Yep, a magical journey. Here we are, back at the house. Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill. Oh, um, wait. Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three camels, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the confi cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. Not a minute. I'll make this even better. We can improve it. Improve it more. Better. Better. Yeah, improved. <laughs> oh, what? Of, uh, I'll keep the dry. Sorry. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, 
but never try to trick her. Elson, we are going to try the game tonight, as soon as we get settled in. Awesome. Room to room, but do not try and trick her. There are candles lit here. Famous lost words, yeah. It's awesome! Blue! Dead. Hey, is anyone interested in Metro tomorrow? I know I mentioned maybe we should watch, like, a goofy, like, Friday the 13th or something like that, because I've not really seen any of them. You are, Lynchy. Good. Yeah, I, d I don't know which one to pick. What is that? It's a staircase. The candles keep changing. I guess that... Here we fucking go. Combat time. It's interesting I die a lot less on this game because I, I remember how these things work now from the first game. Jerk. Yo. Uh, maybe three or four if you want the full Jason experience. Four might be the best. Ooh. Press X to Jason! Jason! Carrot cake? I thought she said, like, you jerk. <laughs> carrot cake? We're going with carrot cake. Right, we have a headless angel. We have a saint with a hole in its face. We have... Uh, an arm coming out of someone's mouth and some fire and we have a cross a colourful cross maybe she said beef jerky maybe it was the ghost of one of those dumb kids <gasps> okay uh, I'm not going down there yet The candle's gone out, though. Oh, you know what? I think what happened is we were supposed to walk around until we got the candles to align with the room we were in, and then she appeared. And we kind of did it by accident. Alright, listen, you're going to become a ghoul who kills people, but you need to think of a cool dying word in case you get exercised. Carrot cake! G -g 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 carrot cake! You big smelly willy! That was uh, from Dragon's Ball P by Oni. Uh, you should go check that out. Someone drew an eye on my cross. That's like the most common cultist symbol that I've seen in the world. G -g -g cake. <laughs> hey, wait, did this cross just fall off the wall? I heard a sound. Maybe that was it. That seems cursed. Carrot cake's great as long as there's no damn raisins in it, I agree. Ow, I just got a pang in my head, like a little tiny headache. Well, I'm just gonna leave. I guess someone else is gonna have to put all those crosses back on the wall. Sorry, whoever's job that is, wasn't my fault, I didn't touch it. Oh, there's a confession booth and a computer virus. Is that a computer? It's not like a skull. Alright, oh, it's a skull in a box. Skull in a box. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Ooh, something bad happened to those kids. 
ghost hunters, I guess. Flying over their head. <laughs> no, I want to go in this bit. Pray for me, Father, for I have said. What seeks have you yet to your face? I try to save a girl from evil. But my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry. And broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I could save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform this act of adoration. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. That... Um, bring the child to me. <laughs> you know, there's a very easy low-hanging fruit joke there about certain figures in the Catholic Church uh, that I'm not gonna make. You can you can bridge that gap yourself. It's like the the, the Virgin Mary, but it looks like maybe it's the girl from before. A little bit. How much does it cost to absolve sins? Eh, a child. Here we go. And my phone just went off, I wonder. Um, I said earlier, some of you might not have been here. There is going to be deliveries for me, and I'm going to have to run out of the room at some point, but it shouldn't be for at least another hour. Just a sec, I'm going to have a drink before I read this. Drinking soda. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off to some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well. But to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank god we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Hmm. Nice little bit of lore. Oh, that's... is that a shape of a man, or is it... it just won't let me in there. Well, it looks like we're going to the basement. Here we go. Darkness surrounds thee. It's a big one. <clears throat> this is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase knowing full well that she awaits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past 2 p.m. or 2 o'clock. Describing random things to it. God's work to be done. <sighs> Reading! God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark. 
a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. That's right. Hero graphics. I need to sit back in my chair because I'm, I'm going to be here all day and it's going to destroy me if I don't. Well, this seems pretty suspect. It's very nice, though. Be a good tattoo, wouldn't it? I like how they. Uh, how, how it. The room's darkness is described by making the walls, like, and everything in it, like, dotty. It's really dithering it, that's the word. It's pretty cool. I remember these runes. These are the satanic runes that showed up when we had to fight the lady. Mortis. What? They are the runes from the room before. They pertain to directions, I think. South. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I guess just don't touch any of them. Interesting. The one that points up is the eyeball. Maybe... The eye and the spiral are in cardinal directions, north and south. East is the cross and west is the diagonal arrows. Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe, do you think maybe I have to activate one and... Whip the cross out. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe I just have to touch the ones that aren't on here. See that shit? Yeah, whatever that is. It's cursed. These are the sigils. 
The ones, these ones cause it to appear. So what is there in that room that isn't on this list? Well, first of all, there's this one. Then there's that, no, that's northeast. But you think maybe this is a clock? 2 p.m. 2 o'clock. That one isn't on here. It's this one. Ooh, that was close. Okay, I'm going to read that letter again. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect for things that speak. Oh! It's the hands don't move past two. It's more literal than that. I think what I have to do is this is two, right? So. No. Maybe if I stand on the symbol, exactly on the, the symbol for two. It is that line with two other lines through it. This one, the only one that doesn't go off. Okay. But this one doesn't go off either. Neither does this. Wait a minute. That and then the cross. Right, yeah, we have to step on them in order, starting from two o'clock, I think. So, I'm going to draw some things on a piece of paper. Actually, no, I'm not going to draw some things on a piece of paper. I'm going to take a screen grab and do it that way. That was your guess in order, yeah. I thought about it at first, but then I was like, but then I'd have to remember this silly thing and surely you wouldn't make me do that, but I guess I do. Let's just put that over here. The symbols in the other room seem like they're incomplete versions. I think they're just smaller versions. And the lack of pixels means that they have to lose some some fidelity. Yes, the FBI method. <laughs> One. Two. But three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Actually, this is eight. Nine. Ten. And then there isn't an eleven. Mother of Demons. Hello, Othothi. <laughs> Fuck you, hand. Okay, let's close that thing. Oh, shit. We're back in the woods.
there's a symbol on that door that pertained to one of the um, hands on the clock. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings, Sterling. Connecticut? The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night, in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Inglis are the names of those unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed, somehow, in a paganistic ritual. Wait. Pandemonium. Regnat. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before wooing her into the woods and killing her. I think that's us. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales, and Inglis because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? The sound design. They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies and then you chopped off their heads, because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the Eternal Dragon. Even now she is at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat. Yet you see her not, I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Well now. That was interesting. <laughs> I love the way the music faded out as I was reading it and it became about John and it was, oh man, that was cool. It carries on. Pandemonium regnat satani vitae, pandemonium regnat satani vitae, pandemonium regnat satani vitae, pandemonium regnat satani vitae, pandemonium regnat satani It's vibrating. It only lets me go one line at a time now. I'm here, John. Amy. Yeah, that was that was awesome. <laughs>
I'm a shape now. Something's forcing me out. Okay. We cannot go back. You okay, John? You feel you feeling all right, John? There's an arrow in rocks. Interesting. Candy tunnel. Death awaits. We love candy, don't we, here? Candy's great. I could go for some candy. I think it's in this tunnel right here. Oh. The bones. Ale Star. I don't know, I didn't see it. I'll check in a sec. Multiple officers wounded, one dead, in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow, Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels, where suspected murderer Joel Ballin, aka the Candy Store Killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded. Although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed, officials are not saying if Bowman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Hmm. Ale Star. It does say Ale Star. What's that brand? Satine lives. Satine! Sardine. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel, known in the area to be a home to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indignant, has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bowman, aka the candy store killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Sick. Well, this must be to do with those drug addicts that the, whatever it was, Amy was, I guess, moaning. I saw that shit.
Neko. They like cats here. These are cat loving Satanists. <laughs> this is a secret. Read. Don't move. You, it, move. Don't move. When you see it, don't move. I moved. Getting the cross out counts as moving. I think it said Russia when it jumped out as well. I just want to, for completion's sake, get this again. I guess it doesn't matter actually, it's not like there's a bunch of stuff in the menu for checking on it. Through the drains. Do you see it? Alright, we're trying this again. Put on a brave face! Okay, I think we're safe. For now. Maybe hide in here. Okay. Candles. Sean Connery's gone to the Buffins. Oh god. Really? How old was he now? Is he in his 90s? He's pretty old, right? Ninety, yeah. If that's for real, then uh, rip. Rip Sean Connery. He was in some really great Bond movies. I'm sorry, God, please save me. He was in, uh, what was that movie? Is it Zotar? Z Zardos. He was in Zardos. That was a fun film. <laughs> Highlander, of course, and many others. He did have a good life. He did a lot of uh, a lot of good shit. I really enjoy Highlander as a movie. Um, it's probably. Other than the Bond stuff, that's probably my favourite. Okay, I don't want to go down until I've gone up. But this seems like... Chat? Should we go in the satanic teeth tunnel, or should we go south? I'm going to leave it up to you while I have a little sip of this drink. Pick for me.
teeth tunnel. Teeth. Very well. Start. I don't know if I'll actually be able to. No, there are walls here. Thanks, chat. Mortis. <laughs> I was going to go in there at some point anyway. <laughs> I guess I'm going to follow the blood. Oh, yo, that's a lantern. There's ghosts. Did you see that? There was a ghosts. I'm here, priest. Here I come. You can't have them. They are mine forever. So at the time I was stabbed in Wolfenstein and I thought it was a cutscene so I just let him. <laughs> right, well that happened. We We fought whatever that is. It seems we succeeded. Okay. He is here. Um... They hate the light. Oh. Do you see them? Also, is that a Baphomet? I think it is. How much do you fucking hate the light? I don't know how to get rid of them.
got a key. I'm being watched. It's an exa excellent example of how games don't need immaculate graphics to be fucking creepy. It is. It's it's a really, really cool um, experiment, I guess, in that regards. Imagine if this had come out on the system it was emulating, like the Ataris. This would this would still be like lauded as a as a really good horror title, I think. It would have been banned immediately. It would, in that, especially in that day and age. How do I get? There are three seals. The seal of blood, the seal of the purple thing, and the seal of the demon. I have a key. But I know not where that key unlocks. <laughs> seals. There are three seal eels. A lot of your first interest in YouTube was through pixel art horror games. I just love invented. They need to be limitations. Breeds creative choices. It does. And you know what? I wish I had the mind to make a, a, something like this. But it takes a very particular level of panache, I think. Fuck! Panache for horror-style horror, horror style games to be able to make stuff like this. Um, Still, I wouldn't be against trying to make a horror game, I guess. That'd be good fun. I always wanted to make one that was uh, like a Resi-style fixed camera angles game. Maybe the key unlocks... Yeah, the key unlocks the statue. <laughs> you wouldn't want to test it. I guess for me it would be like, what scares people? I'd have to figure that out. This game works really well because it's like, it's all about this weird exorcist religious satanist stuff. Which is just kind of creepy anyway, right? Um, there's something very real about it, I think. Rock you like a hurricane. Hey, wait a minute. We got a friend? Fucking priest backup. Yes! Let us pray, motherfuckers. Let's go! I'm ready. I'm ready to not face this alone. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer. God, there is no but you do have God. But Amy bound her soul is at rest. Let us go. All right. What time is it? No, oh, we've gone. We've run over a little from what I was saying, um, but I think we might be approaching the end. We just gotta save. I will say oh the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, if he I will choose, I shall not be afraid of the terror if he might, nor if he will set my gift in darkness. Wait, no, I was turning the wrong way, I thought I was facing him. Marcus. God damn it. I'm glad there's a safe point here. No, that's not there, that's the worst place. Oh, 
Act by fortress. By boat, if he by will choose. I shall not be afraid of the terror if he hide. Nor the evil that walketh in darkness. I shall behold the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. There shall no evil befall me. For he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall bear me up in their hands. And I shall tread upon the serpent. That's like priest fights. Because I have this would be so cool in a movie. Therefore will he deliver me. Oh, I see. He moves within proximity of the creature. What the fuck? Ah! Uh, I must have been facing it. It's kind of hard to tell a little bit. We'll get through this. I'm going to use the D-pad instead of the analog stick. That's a bit more accurate. A lot more accurate. Okay, it's coming out of the doors. I saw it. That's close. This is frightening. I was vibrating. I think I did something right. Fuck! You keep thinking it's sticky keys. I wasn't expecting that third phase. Don't make me do the whole fight again, please. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Erdorf, for being so kind to us. This is just like the fight from the first time. The first game. I remember this. Oh shit. Oh no. What was that guy's name? Paul? My favorite character. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be tough. You can do this without dying. Yeah, that's what I wanted. 
try and do. I don't want, I want him to die. She can't get any closer than... Never mind. <laughs> she, she doesn't care. I need to be careful because I didn't know if she was going for me or him then. But I think if she's going for him... Yeah. I can stop her with proximity. John, I cannot do this anymore, I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Karen. I'm not going in there. No, John? Never? This is the house. There's a letter. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter, for now I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you, Father Garcia. I survived the nightmare, but did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. We followed. Okay, ending two, Road to Redemption. So, that was Faith 2. Um, when, I, when I played Faith 1, I did all the endings. This one, because I've got other games to play, I'm not going to do that. But I highly recommend it. Go, go and play it. You can go on itch.io. I think it's donationware, or it's like $2 or something. And there's a, there's a trilogy coming out soon as well. Like, give your support to Erdorf for games like this, because uh, that was tremendous. But yeah, there's obviously more to this, there's more endings, I may get them sometime when the trilogy comes out. But for now, it's a dollar on itch.io, and there you go. For now, I'm going to have like a, a couple minute break, and then I'm going to load up White Day, that's going to be like, I think four hours of White Day, so that'll be the big bulk of it. It's coming out soon on Steam and Switch as well, that's right, it is. Uh, so I think that's the trilogy that's coming out, and it is indeed coming to Switch. Imagine fucking playing this on a bus. It'd be amazing. With someone sat next to you like, oh, what were you doing? What's this old shit? And then like, one of those pixelated ghosts appears and arms come out of its face. I thought I saw a Switch one. I just loaded up Chrome and then it closed itself immediately.
Maybe it was a mock-up of the. Um... No, was it? I I thought I saw the the unholy trinity announced with the switch thing, but uh, I guess if we can't find it. Unholy Trinity for Switch game reviews. It exists as a TBA, but I don't know if it's actually coming out. But yeah, I swear I saw it as well, so maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Who knows? No idea. But yeah, that was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I really like that game. Um it was Maelstrom that put me under the first one, so big thanks, because I'm enjoying this series. But yeah, I'm going to take a couple minutes to play some music, and then uh, we'll come back with White Day, which is a Korean horror game set in a high school. I don't exactly know what it's going to be about. I'm assuming it's going to be... It's probably going to be a little bit corpse party-ish. It's more 3D. But we'll get into it soon. It's pretty good. Ooh, can't wait. You gotta make chocolates for your boyfriend. Wow, that's terrifying. What's really terrifying is um, you can buy a bundle now, which I think is like 45 quid. It comes with like 70 costumes, and they're mostly bikinis. That's frightening. Anyway, I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 